Tom. All right, they're on the clock, and they have addressed it, several needs. They have addressed several needs so far, and Mike McGlinchey and Dante Pettis, who I like a lot, Fred Warner, Tervarius Moore as well. So, Rich, here is kind of the, br the breakdown for you from a broad stroke standpoint. Tom, you gave them a C plus to this point. I just I'm in the B range. That's fine. If you want to give them a B, I'm okay with that. I love getting Fred Warner, Tavares Moore, some real upside there. But I didn't love trading up for Dante Pettis. I'm okay with McGlinchey, but you trade away Trent Brown. Is that that's just a lateral move in the end? I mean, it's cheaper long term, but it's a, I think it's a lateral move right now. Pettis, I thought there were better receivers on the board. I do like the Fred Warner pick. I do like the Tavares Moore pick, but I just don't necessarily love what the Niners have done. They have room to get some more players, though. It'll probably end up being a B grade for me. You know, it looks like John Lynch went athletic towards the later part of day two with Fred Warner there, linebacker at a BYU. You can use him in many different spots, very fast sideline to sideline. Moore can play safety. He can play nickel corner. You can use him in linebacker sometimes in sub packages. Pettis is a guy who the 49ers traded up for to get. Mm -hmm. And I thought in terms of a value standpoint, it wasn't the greatest selection. Mm -hmm. I know they liked him a lot. They brought him in for an official uh, visit there ahead of the draft. But Mike McGlinchey is, is an intriguing selection here in the fact that you can utilize him at right tackle, but maybe eventually he becomes the successor to Joe Staley there at left tackle because Joe Staley turns 34 in August. Then you still need to tackle long term, though. So yeah. that, that's why I had to get him the green check mark because you swap out McGlinchey for Brown, you still need one more long term. And they did resign Gary Gilliam, so maybe he's he not, could be the no, answer. He's not. He's not, Cam. Seattle cast offs are never the answer. Oh, uh, that's true. All right, do you think the 49ers should draft Josh Sweat? Yes, 100%. Yeah. Edge rusher is an issue. The 49ers struggled in terms of sack ability a year ago. Solomon Thomas is a guy who's going to be working on that a little bit there. but uh, That bumps it up to at least a B for me. I would love that pick in a big, big way. That would be a fa fantastic selection for the 49ers here at, at the latter part of round four. Elvis Dumerville did okay, but he's moving you need, on out. You're trying to find that disruptive edge guy that kind of fits in almost that Leo-type role for the Niners. If it's Josh Sweat, he definitely fits that mold. I would, I would love that pick, but clearly the medical is a big, big concern for Josh Sweat right now. That's why he has not gone off the board yet. Same with Mel Hurst as well here. There's absolutely, you know, reason to be frustrated if you're part of Niner Empire here and the 49ers have not selected an edge rusher. That was one of the big-time needs for me, Tom, mm -hmm. going into this draft for San Francisco. I was looking at guard. I was looking at edge. Corner, I thought, made sense in the later part of the rounds. Mm -hmm. Same thing with wide receiver. So I thought Pettis was a little bit of a head-scratcher. But, uh, Tom, any guesses here in terms of what the 49ers will do? Well, we, we had the pick in, so I'm not going to guess because we know what it is, Cam. Let's get to it then. Okay. The pick is Contavious Street, defensive lineman out of NC State. I'm kind of confused by it. It's, he's another interior defensive lineman. When you have DeForest Buckner, you have Eric Armstead, you have Solomon Thomas, now you add Contavious Street. He is a 4-3 defensive tackle here. I don't love that one that much there. He brings some pass rush ability. Nine sacks the last two years combined. He is a 3 technique or a 5 technique. He's not enough of an athlete to be a true defensive end. Had a good shrine game, but he's a tweener. He's a little small to be a true DT. Not athletic enough. And by the way, he tore his ACL. So I am surprised he's gone this early. I have a number 181 overall. I dropped him down around because of that knee injury. It's just He's a bit of a tweener there. He's going to be a nice backup in the NFL. I just don't think the Niners needed another interior defensive lineman. I would have much preferred an edge guy. This is just going to be the guy behind yeah. Armstead, Buckner, and Thomas. Maybe you deal one of those guys, probably Armstead, if it's going to be anyone. But I don't think this is great value. I don't think it's a great need either. So I don't love it here, Cam. <sighs> yeah, I really would have liked an edge rusher. And Sweat would have been defensive so great. line really was not on my radar in terms of the interior for the San Francisco 49ers. So having them get this guy in street here is nice in terms of a depth option, but there are needs. There are immediate needs. The 49ers want to be a disruptive defense. They want to be able to get after the quarterback. And when you're playing in a division with uh, Jared Goff and Russell Wilson, I mean, you're playing these guys twice a year at least got to get after the quarterback, and I don't think that addresses the problem here with getting street defensive lineman at NC State there at 128 overall.